This week we're doing Power by Kanye West, produced by Kanye and S1, featuring additional production from Jeff Basker, Andrew Dawson, and of course, Mike Dean, who runs Kanye's live shows and has a hand in pretty much everything that he puts out these days. So let's go ahead and hear the main sample for the track from the song, Afro-America by Continent Number no. 6. Now I've heard that these chant vocals were actually re-recorded by the mix engineers. They sang it themselves, they clapped themselves, and they used that. And on the album version, if you listen very closely, you can hear some minute differences, things are a little bit rhythmically tighter, and everything's a little bit more precise. But since the original one works just fine, and it doesn't sound that different, and I didn't really want to sing all those parts, if I even could, uh, I'm just using the original one, and I pitched it up about two and three quarter tones, and rearranged it like this. That gets looped just like that. And like a lot of Kanye songs, the sample stays constant while everything else changes around it. So let's move on to the drums. The drums use a chopped up drum break as the foundation with a couple extra layers on top. Now the drum break used is from the track It's Your Thing by Cold Grits, which sounded like this originally. Which gets chopped up and rearranged to make this pattern. On top of that, there's some extra low end and a snare that gets layered on. And it all comes together like this. The main bass line played on a heavily distorted synth bass provides the basic chord structure for the song. What that means is it builds around that constant vocal chant to make you hear these melodic variations, these musical changes that weren't there before. So let's go ahead and hear this bass line on its own. And there's an alternate ending to this bass line played on a heavily distorted bass guitar. So let's go ahead and hear that. Now let's hear what it sounds like with both basses on top of the drums and the vocal sample. Some electric guitar recorded by Mike Dean plays throughout most of the track. So let's go ahead and hear that main riff once through and then once through with the alternate ending that you hear in the intro of the track. And here's that main riff layered in with the rest of the track. There's a number of synthesizer parts in that little synth breakdown before the strings and the outro, so we'll go through them one by one. First, there's the lead. And then there's some synth strings that bring chords into the mix. And then the bass line brings it all together. There's one more synth that shows up in the outro for a little atmospheric melody. Which layers in when the chant sample drops out. A 
few times throughout the track, everything drops out except for that 21st Century Schizoid Man vocal sample, which comes from the song 21st Century Schizoid Man by the band King Crimson, and it sounded like this originally. <laughs> In addition to that sample, which gets sped up just a little bit to better match the tempo, there's another vocal sample, and then a big guitar chord used whenever they wanted to make a big impact. There's two other quick sound effects used throughout the track, one being this James Brown Yeah sample, and the emergency siren, which you can both hear in this section. During the orchestral breakdown towards the end of the track, there's quite a few things going on with live instruments. First, there's the piano. And then there's a trio of string instruments, starting with some cellos. And then moving on to two violins, one playing a lower harmony. And another violin playing the lead. And when you put all those strings together with the piano and the chant sample, you get this full, lush, orchestral breakdown. That covers all the elements to this track, and I'll go ahead and play you the finished sequence version in just a minute here. But before I do, I want to remind you, as always, to head over to beatbreakdown.net, where I've got project files for this track, any tracks I've done in the past, and anything coming up in the future, all available for download in Machine, FL Studio, and Ableton file formats. Highly recommend checking those out. A lot of good stuff to learn from those. And if you want to support this channel, help me make more content, uh, check out the Patreon link either in my channel description or in the video description or just wherever you find it and go check that out and see what that's all about. There's more information on that website over there. And I want to remind you that I've been live streaming both here on YouTube and over at Twitch, username Beat Breakdown over there. The big thing we've been doing is the weekly beat critiques and I just rewrote uh, this whole system for how you upload and submit beats and now you can actually keep track of what's done. Uh, and see where exactly it happened in the beat critique as it's live or as you're watching it later. Uh, it's a lot more organized, it's a lot better for people who submit tracks or if you're just watching and you wanna skip through for your favorite, favorite submitters um, and you can just see exactly where things happen in the video, click, go exactly to that point and that's over on the website as well. There should be links on all the critiques on the website. You should be able to find it. So uh, that covers everything and I'll see you on the next episode of Beat breakdown.